Good evening, my fellow Michiganians, Michiganders, Detroiters, Flintstones, uh, whatever you happen to call yourself. Um, God, I cannot believe what just happened at the end of that game. Western Michigan Ball State. How does Western keep blowing it year after year under Tim Lester? I mean, so for those of you that don't follow Mac football, this game decided who was going to uh, win the division and go to the Mac championship. You know, Western started out the season 4-0. Uh, they dropped a really surprising game to Eastern last week, which didn't make any sense. But, you know, they can't play any defense, um, giving up, you know, 34, 35 points a game. Their defense is atrocious, so cost them that game. But I, I couldn't believe the ending of that game. Uh, and I still don't really know what happened because ESPN, ESPN, you're a joke for – having technical difficulties and then not keeping us updated on what happened. No Twitter, no anything. Like, And for those of you that didn't see the last play, so Western was at the 50-yard line and uh, down by three. And there was six seconds left, so they decided to just pitch it all around the field instead of throwing a Hail Mary, which I thought was kind of interesting. Didn't really make sense to me, but they just decided to toss it around the field. And then, you know, there was a forward pass, so there was obviously a penalty on Western, but... There was an interesting play. They kept pitching it back, pitching it back, and then there was a ball that was on the ground. A bunch of players were going for it. Looked like a Ball State player recovered it. It popped out up in the air, though, and a Western player was still running with it. However, the whole Ball State sideline was on the field, which, you know, is illegal. And they threw a flag on that, too. So that should have been, you know, sideline interference. Every ball, All the Ball State players are on the field, so the Western player is still running around. And then next thing you know, he goes in and scores, and then, you know, it looks like the Broncos win the game, except there's a flag on them. So so I thought it was offsetting penalties, but apparently, but I don't know, because what, ESPN is not telling us what happened. Yeah, like on the last play. On the last play, it says, penalty WMU on sportsmanlike conduct offsetting. Oh, how is there an unsportsmanlike on Western on that last play? I just got to say, uh, you know, this this game just upsets me because, you know, I root for every team in the state, especially Western to get a chance to, you know, play on the big stage. How, how do you blow it like this? How do you blow it? Like, I'm upset with the officiating, but um, I just don't understand how, you know, you could be up by 14 in the fourth quarter with 10 minutes left. You're pretty much dominating them the whole game. I mean, you're running all over them. I thought this game is over. Ball State can't stop them. They can't. They can't stop the rushing attack. And you know, if Western wants to throw it, they can. But what the heck happened to that offense late in the game? You know, obviously the missed field goal didn't help, but it seemed like they just got away from running the football. And you know, looked like LLB was missing some passes. But a lot of people are really upset with Tim Lester and his play calling, and I don't blame him. I mean, you get about, I think I think they got about 30 or 40 first downs. Let me, let me check the stat sheet. Uh, yeah, 34 first downs to 17, and you find a way to lose this game. I'm sorry, I know there were some very bad calls, but that's on you. Uh, you know, Tim Lester arguably gets some of the best talent in the MAC conference. Western generally does, so there, there's no excuse to lose this game. Uh I know a lot of Western fans are upset. I don't blame them. They should be. First off, shame on ESPN. Shame on shame on you, Western, for not finding a way to score, not finding a way to win despite doubling them in first downs. Dominating time of possession. I mean, if you showed me this stat sheet, I would have told you Western won this game by two or three touchdowns, but they lost by three because they couldn't capitalize in the red zone. I, I just got to say it. Can one team in the state, one team, step up and win big games? Like it's like every every team I root for in this state just finds a way to choke. And this was a choke. And yeah, there were bad calls. That that roughing the passer penalty when they're running the read option and the quarterback keeps it, that might have been one of the worst calls I've seen in a long time. And I don't know how the end of the game happened, but if they called on sportsmen like on Western for celebrating a touchdown like that, they're they're a bunch of losers. I'm sorry. 
you guys, you referees have no life. But you know, it's as a as a WMU fan, you shouldn't be upset with the refs. You should be upset with your your coaches because you're telling me you dominate a game like this and you find a way to lose. You were much better than this football team, and there's a reason you didn't capitalize because your play calling inside the twenty yard line was terrible. And it's like, you know, Eskridge just wasn't involved in the last few minutes. Like, there was so much talent on this team, and it just got pretty much thrown in the trash. Now, Eskridge did have a good game, but not late. Just, every team I watch finds a way to lose, and it's, it's, it's frustrating. Well, this was the big game today because, you know, Michigan-Ohio State was canceled. So this was the game that decided, you know, who wins the MAC. So I had this on all day. I... I couldn't believe what I was watching in that fourth quarter. But part of it is you should be up by more than 14 when you're dominating a game like that. All right, guys, thank you all for watching. Um, sorry I couldn't give you any update on the Pistons game. I was taking a final exam last night, so I didn't get a chance to watch it. Uh, I heard Sadiq Bey had a good game. Uh, Kellyan Hayes was all right. Blake Griffin was good. I mean, this is, this is a team that's rebuilding, although they have a few good young pieces that they spend a lot of money on. Uh, cough, cough, Josh Jackson, Jermaine Grant. But I think they can, you know, maybe they can build something in the future off these guys. I don't know. I have to, I have to watch them on the court uh, to really get a good glimpse of what exactly they're looking for because is Weaver trying to win this year or is he trying to pick up draft capital? It's he's making a lot of moves, but I don't really know what his strategy is. That's that's the thing, and I'm I'm not sure if they're playing in win now mode. They're making a mistake because you need to be rebuilding. Uh, but that's my thoughts. All right, guys, thank you all for listening. For more updates on Detroit sports, subscribe below, hit the like button, and you all have a good night.